we're all perfect up here this morning. Well, goodness, you are. My goodness. Okay. 38, 40 degrees, depending on where you are this morning. It is just cold. It's going to not warm up too much. Probably 51 for that high today. I don't think we'll see 55. Full sunshine, though. Tomorrow, no rain to worry about. Tomorrow, high temperatures of only 44. Again, full sunshine and low temperature of 25. Check out the lows for the next several days after today. 25, 35, 26, 24. 60 percent chance of rain on Sunday. So get everything done you can this weekend. I got a ball game to watch. Mm -hmm. I'll have a fire. Mm -hmm. No problem. Yeah. Well, start me a fire outside. Thanks to Hannah Hannah landscaping. Get my old fire great. cranked up, getting ready to go. Seth, what's shaking down herbs and more? Well, all right. First off, before I get off on a rant. No, not you. <laughs> yeah, Thanks for uh, the warning. <laughs> MSM plus C powder. Y'all, come by the store today. All right, come by Herbs and More. We've got free three-day supplies. I just want you to try this stuff out. They, there's now double-blind control placebo studies proving that this is more effective than Celebrex at relieving arthritis pain with none of the negative side effects. It literally rehydrates the cells in the bloodstream so you have a good natural kind of energy. Um, not like a caffeine energy, but like your 18 years old kind of energy. It lubricates all your joints like a WD-40. It helps to rebuild the cardiovascular system and put flexibility in there um, to help prevent heart disease. There's simply nothing better. Everybody ought to be taking this stuff. So just come by and I got a free CD and a free three-day supply for you. But here's what I really wanted to talk about because everybody Here these days out. is on cholesterol lower and drugs. Okay, they want to put everybody on these things. And I don't know if y'all are aware of the side effects of them. Um, it's a long list, but the short list is nosebleed, sore throat, runny, blocked nose, headache, feeling sick, problems with the digestive system, such as constipation, diarrhea, indigestion, muscle and joint pain, increased blood, and increased risk of diabetes, being sick, loss of appetite, weight gain, difficulty sleeping, insomnia, having nightmares, dizziness, loss of sensation, and now it goes that do on too? and on That's and the short on. List. That's cholesterol lowering drugs. Almost everybody's on them. Did you know? I didn't right. even think cholesterol was a problem but 20 or 30 years ago. Nobody ever even talked about it. Yeah, well, check this out. All right, cholesterol, having high cholesterol is bad, right? Is everybody aware agree with that. that high cholesterol is bad? I don't know, and I never check it. Here's the deal. <laughs> um, do I have high cholesterol? No, you do not. What's Did you know that people with high cholesterol live longer than people with low cholesterol? I've got it. Did you also know that people with high cholesterol, and this is LDL included, have less incidences of heart attacks? They did 15 studies of well over 4,000 people. Now, they're proving this over and over and over again. Your brain is 76% cholesterol by weight. When you start reducing cholesterol, you get memory loss. Every muscle is connected to your bone with cholesterol. That's why it causes muscle wasting disease. Our liver produces the cholesterol, so they have to kill your liver for, to reduce the cholesterol level. So all of a sudden you got memory loss, muscle wasting disease, and your liver's not functioning right, and you got a higher risk of having heart attacks. This ain't me. This is the studies that come out from these companies that run the pharmaceutical industry. They don't tell you about it. It's crazy. They actually did, all right, y'all listen to this. Um, let's see, we've already, the people with high cholesterol live the longest, um, but look at heart mortality. You have a less risk of dying from a heart attack with that higher cholesterol. Dr. Harlan Krupp, I can't even pronounce his last name, but you can get this at Herbs and More, come by. Um, at the Department of Cardiovascular Medicine at Yale University reported that old people with low cholesterol die twice as often from a heart attack as did old people with high cholesterol. Well, how do we get high cholesterol? Okay, you get high cholesterol, generally what happens is the body produces cholesterol, which is an antioxidant to rebuild whatever damage is going on in the body. Now, cholesterol also is in charge of hormones. Hormones are in charge of rebuilding. If you get a cut and you don't have the proper hormones to initiate rebuilding, you don't rebuild at all. 
Same thing with bone mineral density, same thing with heart disease, same thing with um, diabetes. Cholesterol is extremely important for those, and you need to get your good essential well, why, fatty acids. Let me acids. ask a stupid question, but why are they trying to tell us to keep it low then if it's so good for us? Well, the original study that was done, there was one study that was done that said people with higher cholesterol have higher blockages, rates of blockages in the arterial walls. That study started the whole cholesterol craze. Fifteen studies since then proved the opposite. The best-selling drugs in the United States, cholesterol medication. Really? Y'all are believing lies. Seriously. Yeah, I, I mean, thinking that you're going to take a synthetic drug to heal an organic body is about crazy anyway. If you want to kill something like a virus, bacteria, fungus, something like that, okay. I understand. Drugs kill stuff. They don't heal. That's what nutrition's for, to rebuild the cardiovascular system. Y'all, I know probably half this audience is taking a cholesterol-lowering medication. Look at, if you're going to take it anyway, don't look at the side effects. Don't go over that because it's scary. If you're kind of on the edge about it, check it out. Go take it to your doctor and say, listen, is there another way that we can um, combat this? Come get this study and take it to him and say, is there any validity here? Just come get it. I'll print it off for you. Now, when somebody comes in, will you talk? If you've got time, will can, can people come in and talk to you about the stuff and bring their prescriptions in? And stuff by like that? all means, bring your blood work in. Come by. Hey, just sit down with me in the office. All I do is talk all day. Call me. Okay. That, I stay on the phone for 45 minutes to an hour at a time, explaining a lot of this. I will talk to you. I'll talk to your doc. I don't. It doesn't matter. Okay. I doubt a doctor is seriously going to talk to you. <laughs> they don't very often, and usually don't but once. I bet they ain't gonna call you back either. Now, now there's some, there's some out there that are actually. We've got three doctors around here that are recommending people to us frequently. Yeah. Really? Um, but uh, it depends on the doctor. Some are very, very open-minded and go, "Hey, look, I know these people that are getting results. They've showed me, and they send their patients in. And some of them are like, he's a quack, and I'm, so are they. Yeah. But I have study after study after study showing. I've always said that you need to keep your cholesterol levels up, keep the cholesterol going in. You need your essential fatty acids, you need your coconut oils, you need your EFAs. Don't get um, that birch water that's coming out next year. Oh yeah, and that, yeah, I'm sure that's going to be a miracle cure for whatever. What's the fad? Now they're saying all the fad diets too, the Atkins and all that. Said the people that take those and lose weight will gain, regain, and majority of time, will, and all of them, regain their weight back in two years. Right. Listen, if you want to drop weight, then what we do is we change our diet. Now, that becomes extremely hard when you're used to eating a certain way. That's why you get appetite suppressants and energy eating supplements because our energy level goes down when we start to diet. I know this because I go through a gaining weight phase and then I go through a weight loss phase. Right now I'm in a gaining weight phase because it's winter time and Fat that's when you Skinny people get cold easy. <laughs> exactly. Y'all go by and see <laughs> Seth down at Herbs and North, see the whole bunch, Molly, Abby and everybody down that way. Go by and see them. Tell them we sent you down there too, or right there in the Dollar Tree Shopping Center. That's right. Thank you, Seth. She's taking over soon enough. Let me go. Uh, Lori and I were at the parade Saturday, Veterans Day parade, since that was yesterday. Let us try to get some more of that video in right now. We'll come back with Dee in just a second. Y'all hang on.